Yeah! Hey there, Lingo Kids. Are you feeling a little wild today? Because we're about to learn how to draw a lion. Grab some paper and a pencil, and let's get started. We'll start by drawing the mane, which is the hair that male lions have. Draw a big square with rounded corners. Now let's draw the face. Starting with the eyes, draw two circles in the middle of the mane that touch each other, like this. And then a smaller circle in each of the two circles. Look at those eyes. Next, for the snout, draw an inverted triangle underneath the eyes with the same width as the eyes. Now our lion can breathe. To make him roar, he needs a mouth. Let's finish our lion's snout by drawing an elongated half circle that begins under the left corner of the nose and goes down below the mane. Good work. Now, from the tip of the triangle of the nose, draw a line down to the middle of the snout. Finish it with a tiny circle for the mouth. Our lion is surprised at how great you are at drawing. Great job, Lingo Kids. You've just drawn our lion's face. We need to separate the face from the mane. For this, start by drawing above the eyes and from the center, two half circles to the left and two half circles to the right. This is our lion's hair. Now for the cheeks. Observe how we draw a curved line from each side of the hair down to the nose. Amazing. To finish our lion's head, let's add some ears so that he can listen to the sounds of the jungle. At the top of the mane, draw two oval shapes, one on each side, coming out of the hair. Those are the lion's ears. To finish them, draw a couple of curls just where the ears peep out of the mane. Nice work, Lingo Kids. An adult lion weighs around 330 to 570 pounds. That's a huge body. Let's draw it. Starting at the bottom of the mane, draw two lines going down from the neck. First on the right, and then on the left. Continue on the left side, drawing the line horizontally to the left and down to finish the body. The savanna is full of flies. Our lion needs a magnificent tail to shoo them away. Make a backwards S shape that goes from the bottom left side of the body all the way to the middle of the lion's head like this. Great. Complete the tail by following the line all the way back down to the bottom of the body like this. Amazing, Lingo Kids. Lions run over 50 miles per hour, so let's give our lions some legs to walk <laughs> and run. Draw two half circles side by side in front of the body. In each half circle, draw three more little half circles for the claws. Finish your lion by drawing another half circle on top of his paws. Well done. You've just given your lion a belly. Okay, Lingo Kids, now we're ready for the colors. We're going to need these colors. Black, dark brown, and light brown. Use the dark brown crayon to color the mane and the feet. Use the black crayon to color the pupils of the eyes, the nose at the top of the snout, the mouth, and the claws on the feet. With the light brown crayon, color the face, the body, and the tail. Make sure to leave the eyes, the rest of the snout, 
and the tummy white. Well done, Lingo Kids. Time to sit back and admire your work. This is one amazing lion you've just drawn. And if you like lions, you can find games and songs with lions and even more animals in the Lingo Kids app. Download it for free and enjoy more than 600 interactive activities. We'll see you next time for a brand new Crafts by Lingo Kids video. Don't forget to subscribe. Parents, your child did great. We'd love it if you'd share their artwork with us on social media for a chance to be featured on our channels. There's nothing better than seeing the art made by our Lingo Kids families around the world. Just tag us. See you next time.